Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are accused of putting the blame on Netflix ahead of the release of their docuseries. During her interview with Variety, Markle said that she respects director Liz Garbus and admitted that she's a fan of her work. However, Markle also said that if it were up to her, she would have told her in Prince Harry's story differently. Now Heat UK is claiming that Markle's recent statement was her way of washing her hands from the backlash that her and Prince Harry's Netflix docuseries could get. The Sussexes are trying their best to swerve blame as their Netflix debut draws closer. It's causing havoc at the streaming giant as Meghan in particular stirs the pot. They've ruffled feathers with some who are annoyed at the suggestion. They've steamed in with the plots the Sussexes didn't like, the source said. But the insider also stressed the fact that Prince Harry and Markle were given the opportunity to screen the docuseries before its official release date, so they know exactly what was included and what wasn't. It boils down to control with Meghan, and it's been hard for her to have to watch others edit their life journey. Harry and Meghan find it unfortunate that Netflix has elected to broadcast their series in the wake of the latest series of The Crown, a series they know the royals loathe with a passion. According to the source, some people at Netflix are not impressed with Prince Harry and Markle's attitude so it's highly likely that this will be their last project with the streaming giant. Harry and Meghan Markle have been warned that their upcoming book release, as well as their Netflix docuseries, is a make-or-break situation for them. The royal couple were criticised for inconsistencies in their previous interviews. Royal ES hosts Christine Ross and Christina Garibaldi discussed how the public will connect the dots if the stories do not align. Miss Ross said, There's a lot of conversations about consistency and stories. This is going to be especially with that Netflix docuseries coming up, the book coming up, all the recent interviews that Megan's been doing. People are going to start either connecting the dots and everything's going to be consistent, or they're going to start finding holes. I think there's a big microscope on Megan and Harry right now, so I'm hopeful that they could have gotten their story together. Miss Garibaldi added, Definitely, I feel like this could be a make or break situation for the both of them, depending on how well the public receives the book, how well people receive the Netflix documentary. Furthermore, Royal commentator and contributor Angela Levin accuses Harry and Meghan of running after their paymasters from Netflix. She slipped in a jibe against Prince Harry for his shifting priorities and added, Yet the forthcoming fifth season of The Crown so painfully recreates the last days of Diana's life, with the dreaded funeral procession, which will be agony for Harry and other royals to watch. It's hard to believe that Harry would want to work for such a company, shouldn't he have behaved honourably walking away and returning the money. But not when his and Meghan's thirst for money is never quenched. For the last year or so, he and Meghan have been working on a documentary for Netflix, with emphasis on her first year of their married life. It's stirred concerns that the couple might use it as yet another opportunity to criticise senior royals. But Queen Elizabeth's death seems to have jolted Harry's conscience, and he requested some inappropriate parts be removed. But Netflix, who's believed to have offered the couple nearly $100 million, stayed firm.